Hey guys, what's up? Derek Sabori here. Today's topic, sustainable fashion the apparel industry. That's where I come from, that's where I spend all my time, and that's namely where you spend your time too, because guess what, you are wearing clothes every single day. So like it or not, whether or not you are in the industry, you are part of the apparel industry. And the apparel industry has a big environmental and social footprint. So I wanna help you be a more conscious consumer. Let's talk about what you need to be looking for and how you need to address and filter all of the sustainability messaging that is coming to you from all the different brands all over the world, okay? First of all, I want you in the mindset of thinking of life cycle analysis. We do what's called a life cycle assessment and we th think in terms of a value chain or a life cycle of a product. And that product has a beginning, that's called the cradle, and an end, that's called the grave. There's also something right about in the middle here, it's called the gate. So that's the point at which product goes to market or goes to you. So each one of these has different steps that you need to be addressing and be thinking of and being critical of and asking um, information uh, in regards to when it comes to your brands, okay? So let's start with the cradle. What happens at the cradle? That's called tier four. That's raw materials. Raw materials are, they have to be extracted and raw materials are going to either be natural fibers or synthetic plastic-based fibers, right? So you're familiar with cotton and we have bast fibers like hemp. We have man-made, um, what are called man-made cellulosic fibers, fibers that start out as natural fibers and get so processed that they're chemically processed and become synthetics. Those are like rayon, viscose, and tensile, and um, model, lyocell, and things that you see in your products. And then we have our plastic-based fibers. Those come from finite resources, petroleum-based resources, fossil fuels, and those are things like nylon and polyester. We see those a lot in the products that we wear. So two fibers that we have to worry about, one is natural, one is renewable, but there's still a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of impacts that are associated with even those natural fibers. And then one is non-renewable or from a finite resource, so it's plastic-based. So th keep that in mind, synthetic fibers are plastic-based, okay? So that's tier four raw materials. Those raw materials have to be processed, right? So they're extracted and processed and prepared to be turned into materials and fibers for you. In the apparel industry, we go from those raw materials, they usually get processed into fibers. Those fibers are spun into yarns. Those yarns are knitted and woven into the fabrics that we wear and then we cut and sew. So after raw materials, tier three comes tier three, um, tier four, then we come tier three processing. And then comes tier two. That's where we take all of those goods and start assembling all the different things, dyeing our fabrics and preparing all the other goods to start putting in place all of the different components that are gonna be put into the final goods. And each one of those components and each one of those processes also has impacts that we are going to be concerned with, right? So that's tier two. And then we have tier one. That is where assembly of all those parts comes together. And assembly is where you typically think of when you're thinking of apparel. Sewing machines and cutting rooms and for the fabric is cut. The final goods are finally, are finally assembled there. Tier zero is also where we call the, that's the point that we call the gate. Tier zero is retail operations, distrib distribution centers, the brand's headquarters themselves, all their retail stores and when those products are shipped to you. So think of all the impacts that we have there. So we're not gonna get into all the, the actual impacts in each one of the tiers yet in this video, but I want you thinking in those channels and realizing that we can spend all day in any one of those thinking about what the impacts are. And sustainability is always about environment and social, right? People and planet and how that all connects and ties together. So now we're at the gate, that's when products are distributed to you or to the, to the um, wholesale places or the retail establishments where you might shop, right? After that comes you, your important part. That's called consumer use. You are the one that also has a really big impact and um, once you decide on how long you keep that product, how many times you wear it, um, how you care for it, and what you do with it when it's done. That's called the product's end of life. And at that point, that's called the grave. And depending on what you do with it, do you wear it many, 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 many times? Do you give it away? Do you give it another life? Do you repair it? Or do you just throw it away? Upwards of 75, sometimes 80% of the products that we make end up in the landfill or incineration. Think about that. All of the retail, all of the natural resources that were embedded, the people, the energy, the emissions that were created, the pollution, all of the things that were included along the way end up in the landfill. It's tragic. We're trying to fix that in the apparel industry, right? But that idea, that old school idea is called a linear business model. This idea where we take 
we make that product, we use it, and then we dispose, right? So take, make, and waste is the old linear model. Your job is to start looking for things that no longer are associated with that linear business model. We are on the search for, and it's not perfect, there are a lot of things that we have to discuss about it, but this circular business model, right? This idea that once we extract those raw materials, we use them and we keep them in what's called a closed loop over and over. And just as a hint, this idea of taking another industry's waste and recycling it into our goods that we wear, it has a smaller input than using virgin materials, but that is not the holy grail. That is not the answer because we're just getting, letting another industry off the hook, right? So we're gonna address that later. But for now, think of life cycle, tier four, three, two, one, zero, and then all the way to consumer use, how you use your products, and the end of life, that's the grave, cradle to grave, that's your job, that's lesson number one. Think about it, process it, write it down if you want. We'll eventually start getting into all the different details and I'm gonna start doing in-depth courses on all of this if you are interested in really diving in and learning more, but life cycle analysis, life cycle assessment, life cycle in general, that's called an LCA and that's for another topic as well. All right guys, thanks. Check back for the next videos for more uh, videos during quarantine time.